What's up, Joystick fam? Welcome back to another episode of Joystick News, where we dive deep into the gaming world to bring you the hottest and most controversial topics. Today, we're tackling something that's been stirring up a lot of emotions, the dark side of gacha games and predatory microtransactions. Trust me, this one's gonna hit hard. All right, let's start with the basics. What the heck are gacha games? For those of you who might not know, gacha games are those mobile and online games where you collect characters, items, or whatever through a system that feels a lot like gambling. You spend real money for in-game currency, and then you use that currency to get random rewards. Sounds simple, right? Well, it's a bit more sinister than that. These games are masters of psychological manipulation. They use tactics like limited time offers, fear of missing out FOMO, and flashy animations to get you hooked. Before you know it, you've spent way more money than you ever intended. I mean, some people have literally gone into debt playing these games. It's insane. Now, you'd think there'd be some kind of regulation around this, right? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Some countries are starting to crack down on these predatory practices, but the gaming industry isn't going down without a fight. Companies like E and Mihoyo defend their systems, claiming they're just providing a fun and engaging experience. But let's be real, it's all about the money. And it's not just about the money. There's a serious mental health aspect here too. These games can be incredibly addictive, leading to anxiety, depression, and a whole host of other issues. Experts are warning us, but how many are actually listening? The community isn't staying silent though. Gamers are fed up with being exploited and they're making their voices heard. Whether it's on Twitter, Reddit or YouTube, the backlash is real and it's growing. But is it enough to make a change? So what can we do about it? First off, we need to spread the word. Share this video, talk about it with your friends and let's create awareness. If you're playing these games, set strict limits on your spending, recognize the manipulative tactics these games use, and protect yourself from falling into their trap. At the end of the day, we all love gaming, but it shouldn't come at the cost of our mental health or financial stability. Let's demand better from the industry and support each other in making smarter choices. Thanks for watching, Joystick Fam. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Stay strong, stay smart, and game on.